See you later, okay? Bye. <laughs> Got Bay off in there. Uh, you know, she uh know how she is, man. She that that that's something she wanna do, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, uh, she nervous about doing it. But uh, you know, she a, she was a big girl. She went on in there and did it. Uh, gave her a hug and kiss, and um, you know, uh, wished her the best. Uh, we said our prayers last night, and uh, so. I know she'll be fine. Um, you know, like any good partner, you always want to be by their side. I wish I could be like right there with her. Uh, you know, wish I could bite the bullet for her, but just some things that you can't do. So um, I know everything gonna be all right. Hey, Porsche here with another video. If you all are new to my channel, welcome. We do lifestyle. We have a little bit of everything on this channel, travel, beauty. We're building a house. So we'll have, um, we, we're documenting that process. And even after we close on our house, we will have decor vlogs, shop with me vlogs, organize with me vlogs, everything you can think of. So just stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a post from me. And let's get in this video. If you have not seen my Q&A on my breast reduction, please, please, please check that out. It uh, more than likely went up right before this video. So I will link it in the description box below. Sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background, but life of a mother, what can you do? I will post my before and after pictures once again right now. As you can see, it was a huge difference. The surgery was 100% necessary. In this video, I will show you live clips from the day of my surgery, as well as post-op care, my pain level, the medications that I took. So if you're thinking about getting this surgery or you're just interested in how the surgery went for me, or if you just want the tea, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First, I will let you all know how the surgery was on day one. If you watched my previous video, I talked about, you know, being on anesthesia and how it was. And for me, it was literally, I'm about to give you this medicine. You're going to go to sleep and you're going to wake up in the recovery room. When I woke up um, in the recovery room, I would imagine I stayed in the, I was still, you know, very out of it, but I would imagine I stayed in the recovery room for another hour or so. And then they called my husband to come get me. And here is the footage from that. Okay, I'm not gonna believe you. Give it to me. She's coming back in the morning, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So just keep that wrap on. She needs to bring a sports bra with her. All right. We'll call and see how you're feeling tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome, Ryan. Bye bye. Uh. 
as you can see, I was still very much out of it. Um, at that point, I was in a lot of pain. In the video that you all just saw, my pain level was about a seven or eight, which is not too bad considering you just had major surgery. So it wasn't unbearable or anything like that, but I did feel some pain at that time. When I got home, I slept for hours upon hours upon hours. And then I feel like when the medicine started, when the anesthesia started to wear off more, my body was getting used to the other medications that I was on. I feel like, you know, I was starting to come to basically. So um, towards the end of the night, I had my surgery at 8 a.m. And I got home around 1 or 2 p.m. And I slept from about 2 p.m. until like maybe 8 or 9 p.m. So that's a little insight about time frames as far as surgery day. The surgery did not take long at all. A few hours is all that it took. Um, of course, I went home that same day, slept. Um, my husband was in charge of my medications. I was on I was on a total of six medications. Four were prescribed after the surgery and two medications are for allergies that I cannot do without. So I was still able to take my allergy medications along with the prescribed medications for my surgery. So the medications that I was prescribed were, I know I'm about to mess up these names, but yeah. I was on hydrocodone, celestoboxy, 200 milligrams. Now I, I messed it all the way up. It ain't even, okay. The spelling is C-E-L-E-C-O-X-I-B, 200 milligrams. And I was on minocycline, 100 milligrams. Promethazine, 25 milligrams. Plus my allergy medicine that I already take. To have this surgery, please note, I did have to stop my birth control for four weeks. I could not take birth control at all before, two weeks before and two weeks after surgery. So please keep that in mind when you get this surgery. The antibiotic made me terribly nauseous, terribly nauseous. So I did end up um, being taken off of the antibiotic about two weeks in. After I was taken off the antibiotics, a few days after I started to feel 100% better, um, the nausea was awful. And I will say being on all this uh, medication, this is about to be TMI, but the constipation was awful. It was awful. So that's really the only negative things that I have to say about being on the medication. I believe it helped me 100%. My mom and my husband stayed ahead of the pain. They made sure to give me my medication on time every single day. So as I stated, as far as pain level, um, the day of the surgery, it was about an eight. The pain stayed at around a seven or eight for three or four days after the surgery, but by I had my surgery on Monday. By Friday, I was good. I didn't feel any pain. I, you know, I felt good. And by week one, my pain was non-existent. Week two, definitely non-existent. However, week one, the nausea was so bad that I had I rather I prefer the pain. It was that bad. It's the nausea was unbearable. Pain level and all was not bad at all. It only got to a seven or eight, like I stated, and that didn't even last a full week. So y'all can definitely do it. This is a clip of me the day of surgery after I woke up, you know, from being asleep all day long. This was about eight or 9 p.m. As you'll see, I was talking, I was still a little out of it, but I was able to, you know, open gifts and communicate with my family and things like that. So here's that clip. Hey, KP, how you doing? Good. All right. Yep. <laughs> good, good, good. You been? Hurts, but I'm good. You all right? Mm -hmm. You gonna give mommy a kiss? Kiss on the forehead. Here. You been getting a couple gifts in. You got you. You wanna you wanna look in there and show what she got in there? What's that song? It's from Jamesia. Jamesia? Yep. She's, she's so sweet. You got an edible arrangement. That's, that's that's from that's from me and Aria. I love it. I love it. Daddy. Thank y'all so much. Give me a kiss, baby. So you, that's how she got to eat her sour patches? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Great help. Now I'm going to taste. 
Yeah, yeah so she eat one and you eat one. <laughs> it tastes good. You the slickest little kid I know. It tastes good, Daddy. Right, uh, Thank you, Tremisia, for my mommy's can because she don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing that was difficult with this surgery was not being able to drive and take my daughter to school. Um, I This is the first day that I'm able to take her to school and I'm almost three weeks post-op. Um, the reason for that is, you know, you can't do a lot of movement with your arms. You can't lift them above your head. You can't lift them out for too long. So that is the number one reason for that. But also because your reflexes aren't as quick as they would be, you know, if you had not had the surge. And also you're on medicine, a lot of medicine. So you should not be operating a vehicle while you're on that, while you're on that much medication. Like I stated, two weeks in, the pain was non-existent. As a matter of fact, I have a clip of me at two weeks, you know, just eating, walking around, being normal. And here's that clip. Hey guys, I am up. I'm feeling good today. Minor aches and pains with nothing my medicine isn't handling. I do, you know, still feel a little bit of pain around my nipple. My areola is really sore, um, but that's pretty much it. My um, stitches look like they're peeling. You know, when you get a tattoo, um, it'll peel. That's what it looks like. Um, so that's happening like all over. It looks a mess. Um, so I don't like that. But uh, my doctor says I'll be able to put some kind of uh, vitamin oil on them after my doctor's appointment on August 5th, which is a uh, Friday. So in another six days, I'll be able to put some kind of vitamin oil on them and it'll help with the peeling and the itching because they, they do itch as well. The stitches itch. Um, but as you can see, I'm up. I'm feeling good. Um, eating taking my medicine. Um, I'm on my last prescription uh, for pain pills. Feeling good, finna eat. Oh, y'all can see, I got my sports bra on. I will be wearing my sports bra for as long as I can. It doesn't hurt me to wear my sports bra, I don't mind, because I'm just at home, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I work from home, so um, I will be starting work on Monday, so that's good, but I work from home, so I can just wear a sports bra, it's no problem. So I plan to wear those for as long as I can. Um, so yeah, I got me a little DoorDash wing stop. So here are my boobs. Look good, feel good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this wing stop. At three weeks, it got even better because I was able to drive and I drove myself to my doctor's appointment. Here's that clip. So like I said, I can finally drive. I'm not on pain medicine. I don't feel a whole lot of pain, just a little soreness. You know, if I make the wrong move or if I hit something, then it's a little sore, but that's pretty much it. I'm feeling so good. I'm going to get this appointment over with. I'm gonna let you all know what was said in the appointment. Mm -hmm. Just waiting on the doctor to come in. Got my little gown on. So hopefully this appointment won't be long. I'm ready to go. Just an update, that appointment went extremely well. My doctor stated that I'm healing perfectly. My stitches look great. He did inform me that um, the glue around my stitches would be slowly coming off, which it has already a little bit. Nothing, it's not bad or anything. It doesn't hurt or anything. So that is supposed to happen. The glue is supposed to shed. He also informed me that I have a total of 150 stitches. The glue not being there won't cause me any issues because I have so many stitches keeping me together. At this appointment, I did measure a B, but my final cup size will be a C. Like I said, it is still swollen and they will fluff out some more and that is when there'll be a C. So I have a follow-up appointment in six weeks. So at that appointment, I should be measuring a C cup. I was told that I do still have to wear a sports bra whenever I can. I must, must, must sleep in my sports bra. I was warned that I could feel some numbness in my nipple and under my nipple. I do currently have some numbness under my nipple, but none on my nipple as of now. So hopefully that won't change. I was told not to be too alarmed unless it goes into two and three weeks and I still feel numbness at that time. I have to go back to the emergency room and they will they will do an injection of 
whatever medical term he used, they'll do an injection and it'll kind of uh, cause the numbness to slowly go away. At that point, it will take about two weeks for the numbness to fully go away. So in this video, I've shown you clips of the day of surgery, days after surgery, my last appointment. I just feel like I've given y'all all the tea. If you have another question, please, please, please feel free to ask me. I'll answer anything you have. Message me on IG, Facebook, write in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, This will be the last video that I make regarding my breast reduction, but this does not have to be the last time I talk about it. So again, ask me whatever you feel like you need to ask me. If you have an upcoming surgery and you need to you need words of encouragement to get to help you through it. Please let me know. I will be happy to give you my number and we can connect, girl. We can connect. You are not on your own. You are not by yourself. Okay? Okay. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for the support and love that you all give. I just can't believe that I have as many subscribers as I do now. I'm so appreciative and I love you all so much. Again, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload by me. We got a lot of good content coming up. We got some house content coming up. We got some decor videos. We got some organization videos. We got everything, whatever you need. We got it. This here, we family, y'all. So let me know what y'all need from me. And yeah, I'm going to deliver it every time. Thank you.